So what we're doing here is just using this texture um, created by Infensia. So it's a color palette that's got a gradient applied to every color in the uh, swatch, or every swatch in the palette. Um, and then just unwrapping some of the UVs and applying them to the different swatches to get a nice effect, um, taking advantage of the gradient. Um, rather than using photographic textures on all of your character models, I think this is a really good, fast, easy option to satisfy that criteria um, required by the 3D modeling unit where we have to have textures applied to the, uh, the characters. So I'm just going to split the screen in half. I don't tend to use the uh, workspace tabs on the top. I'm just going to use the UV editor on this side. And then I'm just going to change this to the shader editor. I am going to open up that texture. So I've got my recent folders there. Uh, if I select the character, I've got the material here. I'll turn down the specular. Shift A, add in an image texture, join up the color to the base color, select that texture I've got in the UV editor. Control 3 for the left hand side in my case. I've got a mirror modifier on this, this dog, so can, I need uh, the left hand side. I've tested this fine with um, characters that don't use the mirror modifier and it, it, it works just as well. So I'm just selecting U, project from view, scaling it down, and applying it to the um, to the correct swatch. Then we can have a look at it better from this side, I think. So applying it to wherever you want in the palette. If you scale it super, super small, you can forget about the gradient, just pop it on one of the areas and, and, and get the uh, flat color. Um, or you can scale it up a little bit. I'm even stretching it just on the y-axis just to take advantage of the full range of tones in that gradient. Um, and then I'm going in and just selecting individual faces <clears throat> and popping them somewhere sensible. So nice desaturated pink, I think. Pink, I think. All A to deselect those ears. Um, I'm going into wireframe, but I'm sure there's a better method for this. Box select, get these ones. And these ones shift and alt clicking on these to get the loop of faces z come back from wireframe uh, yeah and then we'll grab these guys just move them a bit closer so they're a bit easier to manage all a to deselect b to grab them both pop them somewhere nice stretch them out as well i think and that is about the size of it i don't know possibilities are limitless um but yeah hopefully that helps that's a very fast way of just applying a texture to your characters um <clears throat> and uh, using the gradient to to get a nice kind of um full lighting effect hope that helps